In past few years, the term turbocharged engine are often used by auto reviewer. Indeed, turbocharged engines has gained a lot of popularity in mass market cars in recent year. So, if you are confused between naturally aspirated and turbocharged engine or you are curious to know about turbocharged engine, then this session is for you. But before proceeding into the video, let me remind you to subscribe this channel and like this video because I bring here interesting automobile content. Well, to understand what is a turbocharger or what is a turbocharged engine, it is important to know how an ICE engine works. So let's have an overlook on working of an ICE engine. The working and components of an engine is very complex. This is an image of one of the cylinders of the engine and these are the major components. This is the piston, these are the inlet and outlet manifold, these are the inlet and outlet valves, this is a spark plug and here the piston is connected to the crankshaft by a connecting rod. Now let's see how this engine produces power. Nowadays all engines are four stroke. The piston moves up and down. This up or down movement of piston is called a stroke and a complete power cycle is consist of four strokes. In first stroke, the piston moves downward. In this stroke, the piston sucks the air and fuel mixture into the combustion chamber through the inlet valve. This is called suction stroke. In second stroke, the piston moves upward. So the air and fuel mixture gets compressed. This stroke is called compression stroke. After a certain compression limit, a spark is released by the spark plug which results a controlled explosion in the air and fuel mixture at high pressure. Due to this explosion, the piston moves downward forcefully. This is the third stroke called power stroke. And in the fourth stroke, the piston again moves upwards and throws out the burnt cases through the outlet valve. So I hope you are somewhat clear about working of an ICE engine. So here you have noticed not only the fuel but also the atmospheric air is also important to run an engine. The atmospheric air contains oxygen which helps to burn the fuel. These engines are limited to a maximum intake air pressure equal to its surrounding atmosphere. These kind of engines are called naturally aspirated engines. But what if we supply air to the combustion chamber forcefully? The fuel will burn more efficiently which enables the engine to make more power. This process of compressing air into the combustion chamber is called forced induction. Therefore, we need two things. A compressor to compress the intake air and power to run the compressor. Making a compressor is not a big deal for engineers. But in case of power requirement, engineers came up with an excellent solution. They made a module like this, where a turbine is connected to the compressor and the turbine is rotated by the exhaust gases. So here an external source of power to run the compressor is not required and the power and efficiency of the engine was increased by using exhaust gases. This module is called turbocharger and the engine using turbocharger is called turbocharged engine. Now see, this is the block diagram. Here is the engine and it is sucking air from this side and releasing exhaust gases from this side. Here the exhaust gases are directed to run a turbine. This turbine is directly connected to a compressor. The compressed air is again directed towards the inlet manifold by which the engine gets more oxygen supply and produces more power. Though there is also a tweak in fuel injection in turbocharged engine. The fuel is directly injected to the cylinder. But that's a different topic. So I hope you understood what is turbocharger and what is turbocharged engine. Now let's see its benefits. First of all, the turbocharged engines are powerful and these engines are fuel efficient too. Now let's see the demerit of turbocharged engines. Usually turbocharged vehicles are expensive. As they have more moving parts, they are not as much reliable as naturally aspirated engines. The another demerit is turbo lag. The vehicle feels underpowered until the turbo key. So that's all for this video. Hope it was helpful for you. Thanks for watching. Subscribe this channel and like this video for such more interesting and informative videos.